Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the USPS Miss Sent Status Alert. I'll explain what it means, where your package is when you receive this update, and if there is anything you need to do. And you know the drill, I'd really appreciate a hit on the subscribe button if you found this useful. Let's dive in. Okay, let's start with the basics. What does the Miss Sent Tracking Alert actually mean? Essentially, USPS is saying, oops, we made a mistake. The package has been mistakenly sent to the wrong processing facility or distribution center. This can happen due to human error during sorting, incorrect scanning of labels, or even glitches in the automated routing systems. The key point to remember is that it is a USPS operational error rather than the sender's fault. Now, if your package is missent, what happens next? Well, brace yourself for some delays. The package will be rerouted to the correct processing facility adding extra transit time to the original estimated delivery date. Now a common concern. Is your package lost? Not at all. A missent package is still being tracked in the delivery network, and USPS will take steps to reroute it on the correct path toward the delivery address as soon as possible. On rare occasions, if the item ends up delivered to the wrong destination, there's no need to hit the panic button. Contact your local post office or USPS customer service to resolve the issue and make sure the package reaches its intended recipient. All right, let's talk about timelines. How long will a missent item take to deliver? It depends on factors like how far it has gone in the wrong direction, the distance to the destination address, and how quickly USPS can correct the error. Expect at least a couple of days of delay while it's rerouted and processed through the correct channels. Now, the burning question. Are customers entitled to compensation for a missent package? Well, USPS provides compensation for certain services like Priority Mail Express and insured packages in case of delivery delays or issues. If your package falls under such a service, you might be eligible for reimbursement. However, standard postal options typically won't provide such cover. Anyway, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.